Austin with virtually no team support, at least not on general classification, was able to uh, be the aggressor in the climbing part, and his climbing style is very, very obviously uh, that of, of a world-class climber. Well, he even uh, after that went on to Colombia, which is uh, the country that uh, traditionally has the best climbers, and won a uh, climbing stage race over there. He's very confident of his abilities, and that confidence, I think, is just, just added to what he already has physically. Okay, here we're on stage 21, and it's 229 kilometers, and we're looking at uh, the last of the flat stages, which is the last chance for the, uh, for the sprinters. They appear to be taking every opportunity, or taking the opportunity, in, uh, in hand right now, one solo rider, and uh, apparently there's one of the red, white, and green 7-11 jerseys in second position in the field there, and another one, three riders back from that. It's Haydn, perhaps, at the front. Yeah, it's Haydn at the front, right. And perhaps Finney, the fifth rider in the, in the, uh, in the, in the line there. Riders are beginning late in the Giro d'Italia to exhibit the abilities that we have seen. We feel as though they have, and they are getting used to this, this kind of racing now and, and are showing their abilities. You can see that uh, we're getting close to the finish line by the uh, size of the crowd. So question is will this will this rider be able to hold off the charging field or will he be swallowed up as we've seen so many before now the sprint really begins we see by the way brian that rider was heightened uh, the one that was away at the front and then there were other americans that were uh, doing some uh, team tactics there there's Haydn having just been caught this apparently goes uphill here at the finish. Yeah, it's a slight grade at the finish from what I can see in the, uh, in the map here. You do see more, more and more of the, the red, white, and green jerseys beginning to be at the front of the peloton when these, these pictures of the sprints are shown. The Del Tongo now has uh, one man clearly off the front. And there you see a number of those red, white, and green American 7-Eleven jerseys. So their, their strength is coming here late in the race. So now we're within the last half kilometer. And uh, we got the uh, sprinters getting ready for this. The acceleration. This rider will begin a sprint better than 30 miles an hour and go faster from that point. And there's somebody really rocketing out of the field. And it looks, again, like that blue... Jersey of Freuler. That looks like he got shot out of a cannon. Freuler. Sure. Very, very happy. He's taken the final opportunity for a field sprint.